Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to do a setup of my notebook here. This is the Chic Sparrow Pocket Size. Uh, Mr. Darcy in Buttered Rum and when I purchased it, it was I purchased it from a Facebook group, so it was previously owned. Uh, I don't think the owner used it, but um, it was called The Distressed and I believe she's renamed it to, to Odyssey. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It's probably a little bit darker than my original unboxing video but yeah, I've had several requests to do a setup video so I thought I would quickly show you the pen that's in here is a three uh, one of the three barrel pens there's a black ink, red ink and a mechanical pencil it's very light uh, which is nice and I love the fact that it's one of these kind of clip on uh, holders Sorry, I've been so out of touch with vi filming videos. I filmed a whole bunch before my pregnancy, um, I guess you can say before I gave birth, and so I haven't filmed in several, several weeks. Um, but anyways, I like one of th I like the pens when they have these clip things. Uh, so that's the Pilot. It's called the Pilot Light 2-in-1. I don't have anything in the pockets here. I did have some washi tape, but... I took that out, or my son probably took that out, and I have a couple of stamped, hand stamped uh, papers here that I want to use for journaling, um, but these beautiful hand stamped papers are from my friend, uh, she's on Instagram, I will link her account below, it's, I think it's uh, Creating Impossible Gardens, but she creates these hand carved stamps and she makes her own little stickers and stationery, it's so cute uh, but I wanted to stick these in here and so I put left them in the pocket I usually have a couple of sticky tabs or sticky notes so I can write down or jot down some notes on the go if I need to this hasn't changed I have my Hobonichi stencil that I love for the check boxes I don't know if you can see that the check box is there and just some stickers these stickers are from the Reset Girl and I use them to indicate the YouTube videos that will be uploaded. This is a Word notebook. It's the same same size as a Field Notes. And then I have this Ollie Clip Clip to today's uh, bullet journal day. I'm actually currently doing it week by week, so this is the week of August 22nd. And uh, because I'm just so busy with like my taller and my newborn that I just don't really have much going on um, so I'm just doing it week by week not day by day as I did previously and then this today tab is from an Etsy shop called my paper studio I think it's called my anyways I'll put all the links below uh, from the Etsy shop and then I just have this purple tab at the top here and this is my forward planning it's the Alistair method and somebody made a awesome suggestion instead of just writing the dot to the corresponding month I could just actually write the date so this Sakura Lala and Amy Tangerine event is November 12th to the 13th instead of just putting a dot under November I can actually write November or 11 12 or something like that I think that is an awesome idea I'll probably do that in my future uh, future planning Alistair method if I need to do more. I just have that tabbed in the back. This is the other side of the zipper pouch. This is, I didn't mention, is the passport size Midori zipper pouch. As you can see, it's almost, it's pretty good size. It's not like too small. This dashboard I bought from someone on Facebook. Her name is Jane. And, um, she has a couple of these dashboards and folders that she makes and I think someone asked for a video on how to use these dashboards and maybe I'll do that in the future right now I don't have anything on here uh, but I could put my sticky notes on here as well uh, but right now it's just wrapped around my notebook this notebook here this notebook is a Taroko shop one it's Tomoe River Paper and because I'm carrying this with me, I wanted a notebook where I could journal, 
uh, scribble down whatever I feel like, or if I find a quote that I like, I could scribble it down. Um, so this is what I decided to use. It's a charcoal shop, like I said. And I might do like a flip through, but you can see I doodle, I journal, I watercolor. I love this paper. Um, but yeah, it's just really fun. I just, I don't know, maybe I'll do a flip through one of these days. And yeah, I've done quite a bit. I've done some brush lettering and some doodling. I just have it clipped here with an ollie clip. I wanted to write something here later on. So I just have it open on here. So I'm really enjoying the fact that I can bring this like, I guess it's kind of like an art journal, a smart, small art journal with me on the go. I really like having this notebook in here. This is the Leuchtturm Jot notebook, I believe it's called. And this is more specifically to organize my YouTube videos, um, ones that I've filmed, I've uploaded but are private, some that I've filmed I need to edit. I just have it with, have it marked with this Midori Traveler's Notebook brass clip and I uh, just kind of decorated it with some quotes and things, nothing on the back here. I just have a tab, sorry, so that's the metal, the brass, <laughs> the brass clip or brass tag that leads to, uh, sorry about the noise, uh, that was my phone going off, there's a typhoon passing by and I'm just getting all these emergency notifications on my cell phone. So there's the brass tag or brass clip there. I just have this bow, magnetic bow bookmark and I write down, I've been writing down things that I need to write in the description box for the certain videos. So I filmed a travel journal and then these are the things that I need to write in my description box. So that's what I've been keeping this uh, bookmark for. Then I also have these leather monkey fist or leather knot bookmark as well that I have in my Etsy shop. Of course I will leave all the links below. Then I have this Martha Stewart tab here, my wish list. Some YouTube video ideas on this side and some uh, rack list and yeah that's that for that. This is a printable, free printable from Ray Blake's website. He has awesome free printables. They're very simple and that's that's what I really like about them. Very nice and clean and simple and they're free. I just printed out the monthly on two page and this is the field note size. And so I've been keeping track of the videos that I've been posting on YouTube and like I said I used the Reset Girl stickers to, to I guess identify that or I can see at a snapshot, I can see at a glance how many videos I've done in a month. I'm kind of, uh, I feel like I, I need this monthly as my personal future planning as well. I wanted to use this exclusively more for just YouTube videos and social media stuff, but I think I want to just jot down certain appointments in this and that's what I will most likely do. I have this small little clip nice and thin clip that I just kind of mark for my monthly makes it easy to kind of grab the current month and I just decorated the sides with some washi tape on the back here is just some scrap pieces of paper and as you can see it's quite marked up because of my pen I was using the this one here and because it's not clip, like it has, you have to stretch it open, it was making quite a bit of a mark. Which I don't mind, the whole notebook itself is the distressed one anyways. You can see a whole bunch of marks now on the pen loop. So I absolutely love this one here, I can just clip it on like that, nice and simple. So that is my setup of the notebook, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want me to do a flip through of this little art journal, I guess, please leave a comment below and I will try my best to film one. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or leave a comment below. I have been reading all the comments, but it's been really hard to reply. I try, I'm going to try my best to do that one of these days, to just sit down and reply to the comments, but it's quite difficult uh, with a newborn and a toddler running around, but I will try my best to do that. 
So sorry about the rambling. I just feel so rusty, I guess. I haven't filmed in many weeks and I just, uh, yeah, I miss filming the videos. I miss editing and putting them up. And so I feel really good doing this video, but I apologize about all the rambling. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to email or comment below. And I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.